so in this video we are going to be making this in-depth animation in after effects so let's get right into it all right so the first thing we are going to do is we are going to make a background composition let's click ok and we are going to make a new solid layer and then we are going to apply effect which is full color gradient you can apply a gradient ramp as well this basically allows us to have different shades of uh, our color palette so or just make sure the points are closer to each other more towards the center of the screen okay so or now for the colors it just depends on your color palette i'm gonna choose a bright orange and i'm also gonna choose an orange right here so, all right and just make sure to move it closer to the screen all right and for the highlight color i'm going to choose like a shocking pink something like this just to add a bit more contrast all right this is looking good okay we have created a shape layer now and we are going to make the eyes and you can even uh, use any png of the face i'm just creating it manually make sure the eyes are very close to each other and just we are gonna just create a small smile something like this is good just make sure the face or whatever asset you're using is uh, really small uh, we don't want it to cover the whole screen okay now we are going to make the main composition in this composition we will put uh, every asset all right okay so just drop the background image into this composition all and right we are going to apply cc sphere to it this is basically our main effect all okay. right planets and just increase the radius and change the light intensity to about 29 change the light height to something around this and yeah. all right so light direction is 29 okay and for the shading we want something really smooth so just to create the light height a bit more and we're going to change the ambient to 100 change the diffuse to around 45 and the specular is also going to be 100 all right so now it's looking really smooth one thing we can do is we can change the roughness to around 0.319 so our shading is basically completed one problem is that the face is completely covering the sphere so what we're gonna do is we are going to open up the composition and we are going to make a null layer so something like this and we are going to connect all the eyes and mouth to the null layer and we're just gonna decrease the size we're going to adjust the face a little bit more something like this all right so this looks good the animation of the sphere what we're gonna do basically is we're going to open up the rotation and we are going to stop watch the rotation x and y and all right we're going to go a little bit further and we're just going to change the x and y rotation it completely depends on your animation if you want a, a slightly different look you can just adjust the keyframes now make sure to uh, put the keyframes around two frames later as well all right because the thing is like this is a big object so we don't want sudden motions we want a, a small stop so now just change the keyframes all right all right now what we're gonna do is we are going to select all of the keyframes we are going to press f9 and we are also going to go to graph editor and adjust the graphs we are going to make the star graph a little bit sharper and just make sure the the rest of the graphs are not the sharp because again this is like a big object right so all right we don't want really sudden motions something like this okay or so this is basically our face animation completely done now what we're going to do is you are going to make a shape layer and we are going to make a 2d circle change the color to white make sure it is aligned in the center all right now you can drop any of the assets i have already uploaded these assets so i'm just going to align these on the circle all right something like this okay now just repeat the process with every asset and again the circle is just a personal preference you can make it with a square a hexagon any shape whatever you like all right just make sure it is in the center with the composition okay so this looks good now what we are going to do is we are going to make a new camera just keep the default settings click ok and we are going to select everything and what we are going to do is we are going to enable 3d okay 
the next thing we have to do is we have to select all of the assets and we can connect it to the shape layer okay now we can open up the rotation and just change the x rotation to something like this now the problem we are having is that the object that are behind also appear in front and if you go to custom view as you can see like this completely looks fine but the problem is that the background is not 3d because CC spray is again like it's like a 2D effect. It's just a visual visualization of 3D. So this is fixed. Now another problem is that the assets are completely flat. What we are going to do is to fix that is we are going to right click on the assets, go to transform and go to auto orient and auto orient towards camera. That's why we need a camera to do this. Now we want the dotted line. So we are going to open up the properties, go to stroke one and just change the dashes to around 23. All right, something like this is good. And just change, increase the scale. Okay, this looks all right. We are going to pre-compose our background layer and we are going to name it sphere. Or this is basically to apply just some layer styles to it make it 3d and the first layer style is going to be inner shadow and just copy my settings here increase the distance all right so we are going to increase the size now for the color we are going to choose a vibrant color something like a uh, bright purple this looks good all right and just increase the distance to around 54 and we are also going to increase the size a bit as well okay so this looks good Okay, now the second layer style we are going to apply is bevel and emboss. Now here again you just have to copy my settings, change the depth to 115, increase the size. And we are going to change the altitude a bit as well. So this looks good. And again, we really don't want a darker color. So just choose a vibrant purple. So this looks good. Now just to add a bit more dimension to, to the sphere, we are going to apply a gradient overlap. Now you don't have to change anything just change the blending mode from normal to overlay and if you change the angle you can see we, we can have a lot of variations in the colors okay okay so now for the orbit animation we are going to open up the rotation and we are going to all click the stopwatch and we are going to apply a time expression so around 33 is good something like this okay, okay. So this basically animate the, the orbit continuously. Now the problem is that we cannot animate uh, the orbit manually. So in order to fix that, what we're going to do is we are going to apply another expression. So just write plus value after, after the time expression. Now it's basically going to give us the permission to also animate it manually along with the continuous time expression animation. Would that make sense? So just change the uh, uh, keyframes according to your liking. All right. We're going to go to the graph editor and uh, just like the spray animation, we are going to make the first animation a bit sharper. Or and again, just play around with the settings or the rotation to uh, to get what you like. Make sure the timing of the rotation uh, aligns with the sphere animation, so or it is basically in sync with the sphere. All right. Okay. All right this looks much better so this is how it looks like right now this is basically our animation completely done now we are going to basically refine it a bit more all right all right so for the background what we did is basically just apply a four color gradient on it again the colors i chose are a bit vibrant we don't want something darker here it doesn't fit with the theme the designing is very important with this scene now in order to make the stars we are going to duplicate our background we are going to change the color to something like white or really light pink okay something like this works now we are going to apply a cc ball action to it and we are going to increase the scatter by a lot we are going to increase the grid spacing as well and change the ball size to around two or four reverse well okay yeah this looks good and again just increase this scattering so basically we don't want something really prominent because we are going to add some glow to it it's gonna look really bad all right okay so for the animation of the stars you don't have to animate the scatter just uh, keyframe the instability state and if i just play it right now okay so as you can see it's like a completely random animation this looks good 
okay so now what we are going to do is we are going to make a new null layer and we are going to connect the camera to the null layer this is just for the zoom in animation all right. You can do it with a transform effect as well, but uh, we are also going to be adding a bit more depth to it. So just change the position to something like this. And we are going to change the position to minus 400. Make sure it is not zero because again, like this is not a complete animation. Let's change the graph to a little bit sharper. All right. So we are going to make another null layer and make sure it is 3D. We are going to make it a bit more zoomed in. So something around the 350 works well. Or, and just don't adjust that graph for this. Just make sure the keyframes are overlapped. We are going to make another null layer. And we are going to connect the previous one to this null layer. And or, we are going to open up the position. Or click on stopwatch. Apply wiggle expression. Really simple. 0 0.7, 16. Alright, so as you can see, this looks really good. It's completely smooth. It does not look still whatsoever. Alright, now in order to make it a bit more better, we are going to make a new adjustment layer and we are going to apply a noise effect to it just to make it a bit more rough. Make sure the this box is unchecked. We are going to apply posturize as well. Change the level to around 12. Alright, and the last thing we are going to apply is a deep glow effect. You can use normal glow as well. All right, if you have deep glow, just copy my settings right here. You want a really subtle glow, so 0.55, something like this. All right, so we basically have completed our main animation. Okay, so now I have added a lot of shape layers as planets. And if I go to custom view one. So basically every shape layer is displays on Z axis and have a Gaussian layer on it to add a bit more depth to the scene. As you can see right here. So this is our basically animation completely done. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, make sure to like the video. And yeah, I'll see you with the next one.